Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dr. Brent DeLong with DeLong Family Chiropractic. This is Kristen. Hi, guys. She's one of my favorite patients, and she's just been doing so good. How long have you been in the office? A little over two months. Okay, so just over two months. Uh, we got to her second progress check, and she's, oh, man, she's doing so good. So I just want to kind of share her story. So, Kristen, what was kind of going on before you came into the office? Um, before I came into the office, I had what was known as an annular disc tear. So in my lower back, I constantly hurt all the time it didn't matter if I'm walking sitting standing laying down and it got to the point where I was in tears all the time and one of my friends referred me awesome friend by the way so okay so she comes in we do an evaluation we took some x-rays we obviously saw some issues going on in her lower back but this is one thing that people don't necessarily realize and this is where so many other offices whether they're MDs PTs or the chiropractors they go wrong is they ask you where does it hurt and then they just kind of push and prod where it hurts. And they're not looking for maybe where the damage is coming from. No. So when we did her exam, one of the things that we found was that she had a reverse curve in her neck, which increases her weakness in her spine and makes it 92% more likely to herniate a disc. So when we talk about the curve in the neck and strength and stability, your spine has to have curves. So let me kind of show you this poster. So this poster shows us how there's supposed to be curves in the spine. That's there for strength and stability, that's what protects your discs. In fact, if your spine's in this position, that your bones would burst before you would herniate a disc. So if you've ever heard of someone who had like a, a herniated disc or a bulging disc, you know that their spine was weak, that joint was getting wore down, and then boom. So we took her neck x-ray and you can see that she had a reversed cervical curve. In fact, it was actually a negative 10 degrees. That's 124% loss of her arc of life or the cervical curve. So we started to adjust her and over the course of even just a couple weeks, now over two months, how have you been feeling? I almost feel like a new woman. I'm feeling much better. And the exciting thing is for me that this last weekend I went on vacation and I was able to walk the whole time. And I checked my little pedometer on my phone and had over 10,000 steps in a day. And I haven't done that in at least five years that I know of. So how big of a deal is that? It's huge. Um, I don't want to cry, so I'm going to look up. Uh, but it's a huge deal for me. Yeah, guys, I mean, too often, you know, we take stuff like this for granted, but like how you feel determines your quality of life. Very much. And too often, we don't realize this, but it, it limits our experience and it holds us back from doing stuff that we love to do. Yes. And once you get it back, it's incredible. So I just want to show you her correction uh, because she's just been doing incredible. So this is her new x-ray, I'm gonna put these side by side, but now we got it to a 20 degree curve, so it's not quite perfect, but that's a 68% improvement in the arc of life. So what that means is that with gaining that curve back, her spine is stronger, it's more stable, not to mention we're getting pressure off the nerve system so that the body's ability to self-regulate and self-heal has increased in its efficiency because again, health is not about how we feel, even though we wanna feel good. I wanna feel great. I wanna feel good, <laughs> but health is about how our body functions and your nerve system is what determines that. So when there's a damage to your spine, it affects nerve system communications, builds dysfunction, disorganization, disease, but when we're able to correct that, not only do we feel better, but we are healing better and yes. truly getting to that health and wellness and that predictable quality of life yes. that we want. So again, this is Kristen and she just did so good. I'm so happy for her and now she's just loving life. I am. So thanks for tuning in guys. We'll talk to you later.